Hi guys, welcome to the Happy Bubbles. I am Dr. Shruti Bhattacharya and today I'm bringing you a very important thing to discuss that is 10 tips on how to take care of a new puppy. So as you know, the Happy Bubbles is your all one-stop destination for everything dog related. If you haven't subscribed to the blog yet, the link is in the description. Go ahead, check out the blog, check out all the wonderful information I have there for you and give it a subscribe. Also subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on it later. Hit that like button, the subscribe button, ring that notification bell so that YouTube notifies you every time a new video releases from the channel. Now, let's get into the more serious part. That is 10 tips of taking care for taking care of a new puppy. I'm sorry, I'm kind of tired, but I wanted to record this video because this information needs to go out there as soon as possible. So, tip number one, wet visit. The moment you get your puppy, if you're getting your puppy from a breeder or if you're rescuing a pup or getting him from a shelter, the first thing you have to do is take your puppy to the vet. Make sure that your puppy has received all the necessary vaccination and is completely up to date on that. The vaccinations, the deworming, and overall checkup is the weight right for the puppy's size and if the age of the puppy is what they told you to be. Just get a formal checkup done before you bring your puppy home point number two this is before you get your puppy home that is you have to puppy proof your entire house puppies as you know have a tendency of putting any and everything into their mouth trust me i am literally seeing it with sir zeus so zeus is only three months old right now he can get into corners crevices and he loves to chew everything i don't have a bed because of that I had to remove Delta's bed because of that because he had a torn off chunks from it. Now he has another bed that is very hard to tear. He has torn off the mattress of the bed, tries to eat the mattress. Now those eating tendencies are getting curbed a little bit as and when he's growing up. But before you get a puppy, you must puppy proof your house. So in my case, those are not very big deals. All the wires have been removed. No hazardous items in his sight. So that is what you have to do as well. Make sure that your wires have covers, get wire covers, get those um, plastic covers that come for the wires so all the wires are together and there are not loose wires around and any of the hazardous items that your puppy can, uh, you know, lick up or eat up should be kept away, 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 very far away from where your puppy is and any of the choking hazards like um, earrings or small stuffs, coins or anything that your puppy can choke on like cotton and stuff must not be inside of your puppy. Point number three. The moment your puppy comes home, you need to start establishing a routine. Your routine would involve when you wake up, when you take your puppy for his first walk for peeing and pooing, then when you feed your puppy, when you exercise your puppy, when your puppy has a lunch time since puppy eat, puppies eat four times in a day, so when is the breakfast, when is the lunch, when is the evening snacks, when is the dinner. All of that has to be pre-scheduled and you have to follow the schedule to a T. Because dogs are habits, uh, animals who have routines. Now, if their routine is screwed up, they will find it very hard to cope with it. So, make sure that you follow the routine with regards to the potty break, the feeding. And trust me, house training will also become so much easier because of this. Now, point number four. Start crate training immediately. Now, I know a lot of people feel that crate training is very inhumane. You're con uh, confining your dog to a very small space. But actually, it's not a very small space. Your crate should be small when your puppy is small, but your crate should grow with your puppy growing up. So you should get a crate which has a divider in it. So you can keep the area small for your puppy and you can increase on the area as and when your puppy grows up. The reason for doing this is that dogs like to live in dens. They like to live in enclosed spaces that are cozy and comfortable. If you allow your puppy access to the whole of the crate and if it's a big crate, then your puppy will have a lot of room to roam around in that. That can lead increase, that can cause increase in ac in house accidents. So to avoid that, the crate must be enough so that your dog can stand comfortably, uh, move around, like as in take a spin comfortably and sit down. That's it. No more space should be provided to your dog. You can put some blankets in it and you have to start crate training immediately. Now, if you want help with crate training, do let me know. I also have a post up on my blog regards to crate training. The blog link is in the description. Don't forget to check it out. And let me know if you want me to make a video on crate training. And I will. Now, next point. Point number five. Socialize. 
there is a crucial thing that i would like to uh, tell you in this point that is do not start the cru- uh, socialization process before the vaccination if your puppy has already been vaccinated uh, then it's all right you can start with the socialization but if your puppy still needs vaccinations vaccinations are still pending then i suggest you wait for the vaccinations get them over with and then start the socialization process socialization is very crucial for a puppy they are in the growing stages this is the time that they will learn that okay humans are good they don't hurt you and you know other dogs are good as well other animals are good as well so i should interact with everyone in a friendly manner not be aggressive and stuff like that so when you socialize your puppy uh you should ask your friends to come in so that your puppy gets used to other human smells as well and doesn't see them as threat uh, regular people who come in should come in interact with the puppy this reduces the fear in the puppy's mind that humans are you know or that i i don't know i don't want to talk to this person i don't want to interact with this person all of that goes away with socialization so focus on socialization now point number 6 provide your puppy with many 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 toys now why many toys why not one this puppies get bored they get bored very easily in one toy maybe it can last for 5 minutes or so and then your puppy will want a new one so how to keep your budget and control cuz like this the budget is totally going to go out of hands so this is how you do it you get your puppy many toys you don't give your puppy all the toys at once it's not like your puppy is sitting in a sea of toys and can pick up or throw whichever toy he wants whenever that's not something we do instead what you do is you give your puppy one toy to play with your puppy plays with the toy and you realize your puppy is getting bored so you remove that toy and give your puppy another toy now this way puppy has a new toy to play with every day and the other toy that was your puppy was previously playing with is not in front so in a few in a few minutes he will forget about it so once all the cycle of toys have been through your puppy you can restart with the first one this way it's always a new toy for your puppy and your puppy will always be excited so try this out and let me know how it goes point number 7 always use positive reinforcement <gasps> As I said, the moment your puppy comes into your home, you have to establish a routine and you have to start training your puppy almost immediately. Now, never use aversive methods like shock collars, choke collars, prong collars, all of those stuff. They are really not meant for puppies. What you have to use is treats. Use the treats and ask your puppy to follow the treat. Use the treat to train your pup to sit, stand, come, walk, whatever command you want your puppy to know. but only treats no hitting no hitting with the newspaper no screaming at the puppy no shouting at the puppy no getting frustrated at the puppy you have to have a lot of patience if you are bringing home a dog or any animal for that matter next point point number 8 provide regular exercise puppies have a lot of energy in them now if you try to train your puppy the moment your puppy has woken up your puppy will not be inclined to train Is he still either sleepy or he wants to go to the washroom or you know priorities people priorities so when should you train your puppy you should train your puppy after you've provided him plenty of exercise so if you're planning to train your puppy at 5 p.m. you take your puppy out at 4 p.m. you allow your baby to run around get all of that excess energy excess puppy energy out and then finally when your puppy is calm that is when you start the training process that is and this is also why exercise is essential if dogs are not properly exercised their aggression issues will develop because they have a lot of energy in them and they're not able to release it and dogs cannot climb anywhere like cats can so cats still have a higher potential of releasing their energy while at home but dogs have very very low chances unless you design an indoor activity course you can check out the indoor activity course in the blo- in the description i will add the link there and feel free to have a look at it as well now point number 9 monitor the health of the pup puppies are small creatures they may be vaccinated they may not be vaccinated so if you notice any slight change or you notice a flea or you notice a tick or you notice that uh, your puppy is um, just being weird and not his or her normal self immediately take your puppy to the vet and get your puppy checked okay do not delay this cuz you never know there are many problems that may occur in puppies and with proper treatment they can go away as soon like as soon as possible so take your pup to the vet do not delay that part okay 
And finally, the last point, the most crucial one of all is be patient. You cannot train a dog if you don't have patience. Young dog, middle-aged dog, senior dog, any kind of dog you train, you need patience. It takes a while for the dog to get the grasp of what you're trying to tell them if they've been with you for a long period. They may be better at understanding this, but the dogs who are new to your house may have a very hard time. So always, always, always be very, very patient with puppies. And with that, I have covered 10 points on how to take care of a new puppy. Leave your comments in the comment section below. If you have any queries, if you want to know anything, please leave them in the comment section. If you want to reach me, I stream on Twitch every Thursday to Monday. So you can find me there. And well, the link, I will add the link of Twitch as well in the description section. So you can go directly. And yeah, that's it. I hope you have an amazing day with your pup. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Take care.